Nearly 200 countries are at a United Nations Climate Change Summit for two weeks of talks about the future of climate change. The U.S. has always played a big role in the COP29 summit, but climate policies could change under President-elect Donald Trump. No to greenwashing um, and no to the Azerbaijani regime, which is oppressing uh, Azerbaijanis, Armenians and many other minorities. Also is a petrol state whose economy is completely dependent on fossil fuels and that is planning to expand fossil fuel production and, and exports and has no plan um, to commit to real climate action. So this hypocrisy goes many, many different ways. But we see through their lies and that's why we are standing here demanding justice and demanding truth and accountability from those in power. The climate crisis is an existential crisis. Um, 2024 is on track to become the hottest year ever recorded. And last year, global greenhouse gas emissions reached an all-time high. Um, and at, in this moment that the UNS Triple C is hosting yet another COP climate meeting in an authoritarian petrol state is beyond absurd. Our silence here by the United Nations says more than enough. Me and my family having our pictures censored as we were trying to have them in display here to serve their memory and to serve justice on their memory is a statement by the United Nations. The U.S. is more of a problem than helping in any solution. This is going to get worse under Trump. We've seen it in his first presidency. So I think the rest of the world needs to step up even more if we're going to have this very uncooperative United States. For those of us dedicated to climate action, last week's outcome in the United States is obviously bitterly disappointing. It is clear that the next administration will try to take a U-turn and, re and reverse much of this progress. And of course, I'm keenly aware of the disappointment that the United States has, has at times caused the parties of the climate regime. In January, we're going to inaugurate a president whose relationship to climate change is captured by the words hoax and fossil fuels. He's vowed to dismantle our environmental safeguards and once again withdraw the United States from the Paris Agreement. That is what he has said, and we should believe him. While the United States federal government under Donald Trump may put climate action on the back burner, the work to contain climate change is going to continue in the United States with commitment and passion and belief.